Hi learners, welcome to Ahmed Coaching and I'm your teacher Dr. Anam. Today we will study about effect of osmosis on plant cells. We know what osmosis is. Osmosis is the movement of water molecules from higher water potential to lower water potential through a selectively permeable membrane. So how the movement of water molecule affects cell structure and its functioning. Let's talk about the effects in context of different types of solutions. We have three types of solution, hypertonic solution, hypotonic solution and isotonic solution. All these solutions they have effect on plant cells because the osmosis is happening in these solutions. So let's study about these solutions one by one. First of all we have hypertonic solution. In the hypertonic solution, the word hyper means high. It's like when you say, oh, why are you getting hyper? Because that person is angry and that angry person is more active. So that's why we say that you are hyper or you are angry. It means at that particular time, that person has so much energy. Similarly, in case of hypertonic solution, the solution has so much concentration of solute. That is why we are calling hypertonic solution hyper because of the higher concentration of solute. So if you place your plant in a hypertonic solution, so what will happen that the concentration of solute is going to be high outside the cell and your plant cell has low concentration of solute. In this case, what will happen? The water is going to move from cell to outside. Because the purpose of osmosis is to maintain the water potential inside and outside the cell so that a balance or an equilibrium is achieved. So in this way, the loss of water, it will happen and this will lead to the shrinking of cell. Here you can see the cell, it has shrunk. And in extreme cases, the plasmolysis, it can occur. Plasmolysis means that cell membrane is going to be pulled away from the cell wall. Here, this part, we have cell wall. And the cell membrane is moving away from the cell wall because plasmolysis is happening. As soon as the water will leave and as soon as the amount of water leaving the cell will increase the plasmolysis, it will happen. The hypertonic condition it can be detrimental to the plant cells and it can cause wilting and negatively impacting cell functions. For example, during summer when the sunlight is high and you place your plant outside where the sun or the sunlight is very extreme, what will happen the water from the outside it will start to evaporate. As the water will start to evaporate outside or in the soil what will happen the amount of solute it will increase and the water potential it will decrease in comparison to the water present inside the leaves so in this case the water it will move from the leaves into the soil and this will lead to the wilting of the leaves and your plant that is why during summer you observe the wilting of plants because water is moving from the leaves to the soil because soil has low water potential due to the evaporation of water. Now the second solution or the second condition is hypotonic solution. In the hypotonic solution hypo means less. It means the concentration of the solute in the hypotonic solution is very less so if what happen if you place your plant cell in the hypotonic solution the concentration of solute is going to be lower outside the cell in comparison to your cell it means your cell will have high solute concentration and low water potential so what is happening is actually from the outside where the water is high or water potential is higher and the solute concentration is lower the water will move from the hypotonic solution to the cells this will lead to the swelling of the cell or it may lead that the cell become turgid or it will increase the turgidity of the cell the hypotonic solutions they are generally beneficial for the plants they contribute to the turbidity and it maintains the rigidity of the cells.
but the condition is important for supporting plant structure and preventing them from wilting but to some extent if so much water enters the cell it may disturb the normal functioning of the plant but the best thing in plant is that because the plant has cell wall the cell wall is going to prevent the bursting of cells so this is one important feature in plants which prevent them from bursting when placed in the hypotonic solution for example if you want to cook peas in the morning what you usually do that you soak your peas in the water overnight and in the morning you observe that your peas they are swollen or they have become turgid and very soft and this softness is happening because the outside water is hypotonic solution and the water starts to move from outside to inside the cell making them turgid the third condition is isotonic solution in the isotonic solution iso word means same here the solute concentration is same outside the cell as well as inside the cell so if you place your plant cell in an isotonic solution what will happen as the water potential outside the cell and the water potential inside the cells they are same so no net movement of water it will take place the cells they will maintain their normal shape and turgor pressure and isotonic solutions or isotonic conditions they are ideal for plant cells and they allow them to function optimally for example in a normal environment when you place your plants in a water and that water is specially designed or it has some minerals or components which are specifically designed for your plant or according to your plants condition what will happen the isotonics due to the isotonic solution you have provided to the plant the net movement it will be zero and your plants after getting the amount of water they require the net movement they, it will be zero and your plants they will be turgid rigid and they are like in a normal or optimal condition so that was all about effect of osmosis on plant cells if you have any more question related to this topic you can ask me in the comment section i will see you in the next video